Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to retrieve the value of any HTML elements attribute. So let's get started. In order to retrieve the value of any HTML elements attribute in Selenium Python, we have to use a command known as get underscore attribute command. Okay, here is how we have to use this command. This command we have to use guys, get underscore attribute command. So for this element, whatever that is found, okay, we are going to retrieve the value of the attribute. Okay, so this element will have some HTML code, right? For that, some attributes will be there in that HTML code of this element. And one of the attributes value, if you want to retrieve, we have to use this command get attribute. Okay. So uh, it will be more clear when I practically demonstrate that, guys. Okay. Let's go through the practical demonstration to understand this better way. Okay. Let's switch to this PyCharm ID. Here we have some code already there, uh, which I have used for demonstrating the previous uh, topic. So I'll do one thing I'll clear all this stuff. I'll just leave these three lines, uh, which will be useful for us uh, for this topic also. That is for opening the Firefox browser, for maximizing the browser window, and for opening this application you are in the browser like this. Okay. So in the browser, we are going to open this application URL still here. After that, what I want to do is, let's say I'll take this uh, text area field. Okay. I'll take this text area field. I'll inspect this text area field so that I can see the HTML code of this text area field. Okay. When I inspect this text area field, the HTML code of this text area field is getting displayed here. And you see there are some attributes like ID, rows and columns, right? Let's say I want to get the number of columns for this text area field, how many columns is there? Okay. How many columns are there? I want to get this and get this value of this columns attribute of this uh, text area field and print this number of columns in the output console of PyCharm ID. With the help of Selenium Python, how, how to do that? We have to use a command known as get attribute command, which will get the value of this attribute of this HTML of this particular element. Okay. So for that, uh, let's go here and uh, let's first uh, find this element guys. Okay. To apply the get attribute uh, command, we have to find the element, right? Uh, we have to make, we have to help Selenium in finding this text area field. So this particular uh, text area field has an ID. I'll take this ID guys and come back here and simply say driver dot find element by dot ID, give the ID of that uh, text area field. And simply I will use a command known as get underscore attribute command. So inside this get attribute command, I have to pass the name of the attribute for which I want to get the value for, for example, here we have ID rows and columns. So I want to get the name of this attribute that's C O L S columns. Okay. Columns is the attribute. I'll give that here. Now this get attribute with the help of the uh, attribute name will retrieve the value of this particular HTML element. Okay. So here I'll simply say, uh, C is equal to or something or just some variable and I'll simply say print of C. So it should retrieve this AD from this attribute value AD and, uh, print in the output console. Simply I'll say driver dot fit guys. Let's see whether it is working or not. Okay, let's run this. It should be printed in the output console if this get attribute command is working. Okay, so I have run the code. It should open the Firefox browser, maximize the browser window, go to this application URL, open this application URL in the browser, and then it has to retrieve the value of that COLS attribute of that uh, text area field. Okay, you see, it got retrieved and printed in the output console. So, but in real time, how do you use this particular uh, get attribute command? I'll show you. Okay. I'll show you one more example here earlier in the previous session, when I want to print the label of this button, it was not possible for me. Okay. Because this label of this button is not there between the HTML tags. So if this particular label was between the HTML tags of this element, then I would have used text command, text command, but that was not working for this button because when I inspect this button, this search label text is not there between the HTML tags. You see, there's only one tag, there's no ending tag. And so I cannot get the search label text uh, with the help of the text between the tags with the help of text command in Selenium Python. So in this case, I can use get attribute command guys to get the label of this button and get this uh, label of this button and print that label in the output console. So what I can use is I can use get attribute command because this label, if you clearly observe this uh, HTML code of this particular search button has some attributes, class attribute, title attribute, type attribute and value attribute. So label is matching with which attribute value, value attributes value. You see for value attribute, we have this value as such. This is a label here. The label is there to get this label to get attribute command. I have to use this attribute name pass this attribute name of this element. So it will retrieve the label of this button. Okay. If this label is not there between the tags, I can use get attribute to get the label. Okay. So there is some way. 
So I'll do one thing. What I will do here is, uh, you know, uh, I will find uh, this uh, search button first. For this, I'll get the label of this button, okay? So first, uh, let me write this code here. Okay, I'll just, uh, you know, clear this stuff and write the code, driver dot find element, okay? So here, how to locate the search button? So this one, you see there is no ID and there is no name and coming to the class, there is a duplicate class, the GSA search button is also there for this TD, so I cannot go with this uh, class, okay? So it is not a hyperlink, so it's not a link text. So I will go with XPath expression, guys, okay? So I'll simply say control F and, uh, you know, um, I'll take this search uh, as a title. Let's see what will happen. Double slash input, double slash uh, input at the rate type is equal to type, I guess, right? Don't remember that. Uh, let me inspect that again. So the attribute name was different. Title, I guess, title or something was there. Title, guys, okay? It's not type, it's title. Title, I would search. But two elements are coming, guys, okay? Two elements are coming. Mm, so how can I overcome this? When I, two elements are coming, I'll just provide circular brackets here surrounding this XPath expression and I'll give one here, let's see. It's locating this uh, text box field, but I want search, search button. So I'll give two here. Now it is lo locating the search button. This XPath expression is now locating only one element that is nothing but the search button. So I'll take this XPath expression. Somehow you have to create an XPath expression for finding this button. So I'll simply say by dot uh, XPath, give that XPath expression to find that button. Now to get the label of this button, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a command dot get attribute in the get attribute i have to give this uh, value attribute name which will uh, which has a value of this uh, which is nothing but the label of this button so that value will go and you know i'll say label i'll say button i'll give a variable name like button underscore label is equal to i'll print this label guys okay i'll print this label out print of button underscore label okay that's it now run the script you will see the label of the button that is search will be retrieved and printed in the output console with the help of this get attribute command. So let the Firefox browser launch now. Let it maximize. Let it open the application URL and immediately it will retrieve the label of the button and print in the output console here. You see, search. That's it, guys. So guys, this is how we have to use get attribute command uh, to retrieve the value of any particular Okay, HTML elements attribute. Okay, so that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye bye.